Naxport Hub is an online platform where you can store, view and share your videos, analyses, presentations and documents in a private, secure place that only members of your team have access to. It allows you to connect every member of the team thanks to the Team Channel tool. Hub can be accessed from any browser or device thanks to the mobile app. Let's look at the first steps when working with Hub. When logging in for the first time, the first thing you have to do is edit the user profile in the upper right. Select Edit Profile and from here you can change your profile picture and password. By default, your password will be generated by us. Once your profile has been set up, you can start adding users. From the same icon, click on Users. The first time you open this section, it will be completely blank. To add a new user, click on the plus icon at the bottom and select the new user icon. Add the user's details here. An essential part of this process is assigning a role to the user. They can either be an administrator or standard user. Administrators can add information to the platform and will also be able to view everything on the platform. Standard users will only be able to see the information that is shared with them. Usually, administrators will be the coaches at the club, while standard users will be the players. Click on Create User and an email will be sent to them with their login details. It's probable that the first time you log in, you're going to want to create multiple user profiles. You can do this with the Multiple User Creation option. With this option, you download a template, copy and paste the needed information, or add the needed information, and re-upload it to the platform. You then save the file and select it to create multiple users very quickly. Another useful feature you should know during your first session is the Create Groups option. Here you can create groups of players. In this example we have groups containing different positions. To create a new group, click the plus icon and assign it a name. Once the group has been created, you'll be able to add users to the group. Click on the group and all the users in the account will appear here. Click the ones you want to add to the group and click Save Changes. Creating groups allows you to share information on the platform much faster and easier. Now that the users have been created, let's look at how to add videos and data to Hub. From the main menu, you can see everything you've added to the platform. The icons in the side menu allow you to filter your data into videos, analysis, presentations, or documents. Before uploading to the platform, you need to install the Hub Uploader. This can be found by clicking the plus icon which can be found in any environment of the platform, and clicking the Upload icon. Next, click Download Uploader to install it. Once installed, you need to enter your username and password to access it. The most common files you'll upload will probably be videos, as both analyses and presentations will be linked to them. To do this, click on the Choose File button and locate the video you want to upload. Click on the desired video and click the Upload button. You can upload multiple videos at the same time. 
The fastest way to access your uploaded videos is through the video icon in the side menu. Here, you can see all the videos that you have uploaded. Double click on any video to view it. From here, amongst other options, you can share the video with any user on the platform. Simply select the user you want to share it with. You can also choose to share the video with a group. Only users you have shared the video with will be able to view it. So this is useful when, for example, you want to share defensive videos with the Defenders group or attacking videos with the Strikers. Another option you have here is to link the analysis data to the video. You can do this from the Options menu. By clicking the plus icon, you can link an XML file to the specific video. This means that the video will now have an associated analysis. Clicking on the analysis will open the data matrix for that specific video. You can also access this data from the analysis section in the main menu. Double click to access the matrix. From here, you can click on any section to view the associated clips. If you're wondering where you can get the XML file, don't worry, it's easy. You simply need to go to the timeline of the game you're working on. On the right, you'll find the hub icon. Click here and you'll have the option to export the XML and automatically open hub in your browser. This allows you to link your file to your video. If you've already finished the analysis when time comes to upload the video, you can click the option to upload video and XML at the same time. They will then be automatically linked. Presentations can also be uploaded to Hub. In an open presentation, Click the Hub icon and you can select whether to upload the full presentation or just selected lists. Again, click on the Upload button and the presentation will be available in Hub. Remember, this presentation will be linked directly to the uploaded video. So, if the video had previously been uploaded, this upload will be very fast, since you are only uploading data. Again, you can access presentations directly from the side menu. To share a presentation, open it, and from the bottom, select the lists that you want to share. Now, right-click, select Share, and choose the players you want to share it with. In this case, only the list of offensive actions will be shared, as it is highlighted. To share all the lists at the same time, click on the Select All box. Now that you know how to add and share videos, presentations and analyses, let's take a look at one of the best tools on the platform for sharing your work the Team Channel. To access this section, click on the icon in the top right. From the Team Channel, you can share anything you have uploaded quickly and easily. You will be able to get direct feedback from users and start conversations on any topic in the form of posts. To create a post, click on this icon in the bottom left. You can choose who to share a post with, either everyone on the platform, groups, or individuals. These options allow you to add different elements to your posts. For example, videos presentations, or any other element that you need to share. 
You can also add a comment to the post, allowing you to interact with the rest of the team. Keep in mind that any user can create a post, so any player can share something with the rest of the team. This creates a very open, dynamic workflow in which the whole team can be involved. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.